who likes the famous in Japan too is because they have this movie going on called Hula Girl. Uh, see this guy? Yeah. So it's talking about Hula That is how famous it is in Japan. So that is why all my students here is uh, mainly Japanese expats, housewives, or uh, like Japanese uh, little kids. So I'm just going to share that uh, my first time in Hula, like a long, a long time ago, like I think four years ago, uh, and get paid. I remember it was like uh, very little, but I, I'm still very happy because it's like my first job. And um, because, you know, yeah, I, I have to show it off, right? <laughs> Being uh, the only one who's been teaching Hula and dancing Hula in Jakarta, so I got a lot of opportunities to go on like TV shows, just to promote a little bit about Hula or just to, just to bring in something different for the show. So uh, I get to meet like famous people, like, take pictures with them. It still get me excited from time to time, promoting Hawaiian hula, educating most of the people here about uh, hula. Actually, it's not just about coconut grass. Yes. Yeah, so last year, I finally decided to open my studio, which is around the corner here, and uh, this is just some picture of my studio opening. I did the tofu and everything. And so far it's been running for a year and I really, really like my studio. And I also got developing a brand called Kulala because I figure I cannot teach forever. So um, I just wanted to bring something, everything that is special, uh, that is locally made from Indonesia, but uh, have a little touch of Hawaiian design. Uh, and I have a little shop in my uh, studio, so like, uh, that's what I'm doing now. And um, to end this presentation, uh, I'm just gonna show you one song of Hula. <laughs> just to, you know, to show what is Hula. Let's go. 